Calling all students! Summer Internship 2022 has finally arrived! PS Media Enterprise is now open for application! We are looking for Media Acquisition Interns Content Distribution Interns Digital Marketing Interns Localization Marketing Interns And Broadcasting Interns Send your CVs at careers at esmedia.io That is careers at esmedia.io Be part of our growing team! Annyeong haseyo! Curious about the Philippines and Korea? Our podcast is for you! Annyeong kwento mo! It's a podcast where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Hosted by Lloyd and Jazz, be amazed and inspired with different stories yet to unfold. Listen to our podcast only here at Pinoy Soul Radio. podcast where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Do you have a story to share? Well then, here is Anyong Kwento Mo, Juwan Kim. Anyong, I'm Lloyd. And Anyong, I'm Jas. This is actually the episode 8 of our podcast and like two more to go. Mabilis na lang siya if like iisipin mo. Yes, Jas. It seems like just yesterday we met the Philippine ambassador to South Korea for our pilot episode, but for today, we found our guest on a platform I assume both of us frequently use, which is YouTube. Yeah, you found him. Actually, we found him on YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you found him. But yeah, you're right. Uh, we, uh, YouTube is something we frequently use, and I think we talked about it, I think, yesterday. Mm. Uh, who are my favorite YouTubers? If you're gonna ask that, I think. Oh. Uh, is it right? I guess yeah. it. You're gonna ask mm-hmm. who's my favorite so, YouTuber. Or should I answer first? Or Eko Muna? Uh, yeah, I'll go first. Uh, one of. I'd never really consumed YouTube like 2015 or early 2010. Just, I did, but for like purely music. Mm-hmm. But right now, like pan- the pandemic, I usually watch uh, Sam and Colby. They do horror like, adventures and stuff. Uh, another is a travel group, I, d- I guess, if I could say that. Uh, they're called... What's that name? Uh, yes Theory. The ones... I think they're a group of friends in Los Angeles traveling the world. Uh, I also watch... This guy who's a music producer, his name is Blake McLean. He reacts to BTS albums and other songs, how they are formed, and he say, he tells his opinions, yeah. if he likes it or not. Well, most, li- most of the time, he likes the songs. And also, yeah, YouTube covers of like, sometimes Simarelli, or just like whoever pops up in my, uh, what do you call that? Uh, yeah. recommendation. Recommendation. So yeah, that's, YouTube, yeah. that's what I consume on YouTube. <laughs> uh, ako naman, uh, in terms of YouTube, siguro uh, during my teenage years, parang ako yung one of those uh, audience that really consumes a lot of like YouTube stuff. Pero but now kasi I don't really... Uh, watch a lot of um, YouTube like vlogs and you know other stuff like that. But in terms of YouTubers that I've encountered, uh, since you mentioned Simrelli, uh, this girl group talaga like uh, their sisters, yeah. right? They are my go-to talaga na YouTubers or like singers on YouTube in terms of like uh, doing covers. And as for the like YouTubers talaga na doing vlog. I am like uh, during my teenage years. I used to watch uh, Wasabi Productions, then Alex Wasabi, Roy, and you know his, his um, 
uh, brothers and then uh, just random din talaga kung sino yung mag-pop up din sa YouTube account ko na like YouTubers and interesting talaga yun yung mga wina watch ko but you know just in terms of contents on YouTube what do you usually watch? Uh, yeah right now it's K-pop of course because of our work and just like our interest as well but mostly adventures like I told you earlier it's Sam and Kobe they're two best friends who travel yeah. the world just to investigate yung uh, haunted places though people find it slightly corny like sometimes I guess uh, not really fun if you're not really into that stuff but for them it's uh, something uh, big and then something that I don't know somehow for their curiosity they're eager to find an answer hopefully they will and i also saw how their channel grew yeah uh, and yeah travel that's yes theory the guys behind uh the seek discomfort brand that i always i think i told you about this it's they're the guys who say the best things in life are usually outside your comfort zone so they're the guys behind that and yeah music like reaction videos which this, which our guests right now yeah did like a while back i guess and then yeah reaction videos to music and like best vocals so that's some one of the things i like the youtubers i watch that's like the context of their channels yeah but as for, for yeah. you as for me no man uh I, I watch talaga a lot of vlogs then just random vlogs of uh, travel vlogs a day in my life and you know other other interesting uh, contents then uh, song covers then uh, music and K-pop talaga like as of now ha K-pop talaga is like my go-to contents that I watch on YouTube and also since you mentioned reaction videos you know there are, there are a lot of YouTubers that do that stuff talaga and uh, I can't deny that it's really entertaining to watch uh, reaction videos, most especially if you know uh, the the person that they are reacting to is like a Filipino, let's say a singer or a dancer. Yeah. So, basta something na that is uh, like came from the Philippines. So yun yung mga talagang contents that uh, I usually uh, watch on YouTube. But uh, for now, we're gonna find out what our guests. What's the history of our guest? Like, why did he start YouTube? But enough of us talking. Who is this person? Like, halfway across the world right yeah. now. So, uh, to our listeners of this podcast and your friend, our guest for today's episode is a singer, songwriter, producer, and a YouTuber that is known for making guitar covers, reaction videos, and other interesting contents. And his YouTube channel that has 178,000 subscribers and a total of 7 million views across all of the videos that he uploaded in the said platform. Please welcome on the show, Joan Kim, or also known as Jelly TV on YouTube. Hello, Hi. Po. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi from the Philippines. Young, po. Hello. <laughs> Hello from the Philippines. What is a Quento Mo? What does that mean? Uh, Quento Mo is like, uh, hey, tell us your story, story. in Tagalog. So Quento Mo means, means that I'm going to tell you what my story is kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, I'm from okay. Quento Mo, uh, <laughs> listeners, podcast listeners. My name's Juwan Kim, Ako Posti Juwan Kim. I oh, hope you're having a wonderful day. And today I just, yeah, got invited to um, speak about a little about my career and and my my path moving forward. So thanks for having me, uh, Jazz Lloyd and uh, yeah. Beep Boy. Yeah, who's, uh, yeah. Yeah, who's recording this. Uh, thank you so much. Let's yeah, go. and Let's thank you it. also for like accepting our invitation. We're no, really no. happy. Thank you. Yeah, thank <laughs> you so much. Uh, but, but before anything, anything else, we know that we currently have different time zones as of now. Uh, for our listeners po who are currently listening, si Juan po is uh, living sa Canada right now. And ayun, despite the different time zones uh we thank you juan for accepting our invitation and we can't wait to get to know you better but you know before we formally start this pod, uh, podcast uh we would just like to ask uh how's life lately ka naman? Uh, how's life lately yeah how are yeah, you yeah. uh it's 
it's quite tough. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> life is life has been quite tough. Um, there's been a lot of uh, movements. Yeah. Uh, and I'm at a point where I get where I have to choose, you know, certain things. And there are many paths that I could take, but it's taking quite longer than I expected, you know, yeah. to choose it, uh, choose the path carefully. Although I could just choose anything and just walk on with it, it's like, you know, um, yeah, I'm 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 in that process right now. Yeah, and uh, that's actually kinda related to our first question. We're just gonna ask you. Uh, the yeah. first one is, uh, could you tell us more about yourself? Yeah, uh, I am South Korean with uh, Canadian citizenship, and I moved to uh, Vancouver when I was eight years old. So. Yeah, I, I was born in uh, 2000, January 22nd, 2000, and I moved here in uh, Vancouver. And yeah, my life here has been uh, pretty tough when I was younger. I yeah. had financial difficulties. Uh, my, my, my family did, right? And um, I also moved around six schools in my lifetime oh, wow. oh. and um, <laughs> around... Well, well, eight if you include like my time in Korea as well. Eight, but I I moved around. Yeah, six here and uh, uh, yeah, I moved a lot. So, um, you got you guys might think that I have a, like a lot of friends and like I'm like very person person kind of thing. But other than me like performing or like you know speaking on podcasts like radio type or something like that it's really yeah i don't spend a lot much time outside I, i'm actually an indoor person and um oh, right. yeah i didn't really have a lot of like uh stability and and friendship when i was growing up so it's it's uh it's quite hard for me to i guess be around with a lot of people but I still have, uh, you know, like I, I have good relationship with my family and you know, with my two best friends and, and with my girlfriend. And yeah. Yeah, I can feel it's your uh, frustration of moving around. My dad usually told me that before, like, though he's not Korean, but he, <laughs> he also frequently moved around because he's a son of somebody. Uh, from the military so if you're like a military uh, kid you don't really get to stay on like one place for a long time yes so yes that's actually the next question like to get you more to get to know you more uh, mm -hmm. what were your hobbies prior creating to co creating contents on YouTube well so I created reaction videos uh, on YouTube to you know get recognized but prior to that i enjoyed um making korean lesson tutorials uh oh, wow. or music or like music stuff you know music covers or um yeah like a little vlog i think i, I pretty i'm pretty sure i posted that one to vlogs you know just sharing my daily life mm -hmm. um and yeah my other hobbies were just doing music and hanging out with my friends, playing video games. Oh. That's kind of it. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking mm -hmm. of YouTube, uh, since we talk about it, and we know that uh, a lot of people people have been wanting to uh, become a YouTuber, and as someone like you who have became successful in this endeavor, uh, we will now be talking your journey in becoming a YouTuber. So the first question uh, regarding this is, who or what inspired you to create a YouTube channel? Um, I can't really say who specifically because I didn't really like just be like, oh, that person has a lot of followers, so I want that many too. It wasn't really like that. It was, I just, I knew for a fact though that if you are a successful YouTuber, you could be making uh, money, mm. income out of it. And, um, although, I mean, yeah, I don't, but I also can't say that money is what drove me to, you know, continue making my YouTube channel. It was just out of nowhere, to be honest. I had a channel that I've been uh, working on with music related content. So I was just doing a lot of um, song covers and tutorials 
yeah. uh, because um, I'm I'm quite good with catching up with the chord structure and like re- good good at remembering the melody the first time I hear it kind of thing. So I would wait for like a K-pop song to drop, and then oh, okay. I would just like listen to it and make a guitar tutorial of it right away within like 30 minutes and just edit the video like in an hour or something and just upload it right away. To oh, cool. you know, maximize the potential of pe- the viewership and and the audience, right? Because you know, when there's a new music that pops out, um, and you could be like one of like you could be right under yeah. or who knows, yeah, you know, yeah. Just, yeah, just yeah. post it right away. <laughs> so that was like my approach uh, initially, and I actually did pretty well on this one video. It popped, you know, like this one video. Uh, Dynamite tutorial that I made, yeah. it popped out, you know. So like, I was like, damn, like, I feel like that's one of the video that actually led me, you know, to have more traffic on my upcoming videos. I truly believe that because, yeah, that video definitely gained the attraction. Um, but yeah, it wasn't really like me just like being inspired by someone. It was just, um, just me just doing what I love doing, which was. You know, doing music and making music and just trying to, you know, grow my channel, right? But anyways, uh, since you mentioned uh, the dynamite cover that you did, which blew up uh, mm-hmm. in your YouTube channel, so how does it feel to get positive feedback from your YouTube videos that you put out, and most especially the songs that you wrote and produced? Uh, to be to be honest, like I, um, I mean, yeah, no, I felt really, really, really good. Uh, getting those positive feedback because it's time and work and effort that I put in, um, and I was genuinely interested in Philippines uh, during that time. That's why I visited there. A lot of people think would make comments and think that um, I went there for clout and stuff like that, you know, and 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 to get money from other people. But that like that age and period of time like me was very just enthusiastic and just like adventurous you know i would i just wanted to explore different things and uh see what it's like to for other people's lives out there you know and different from my environment that i'm i've grown up from and um the people i've been with and yeah that's like the main motive that um I had when I went there uh, to the Philippines in 2019, and also when I was making my reaction videos uh, on YouTube. Um, so, when I got some of those positive feedbacks that uh, were kind of something like that, like people recognizing me for for me just doing um, what I what I was interested in, and like me just being enthusiastic about it. And not um, about like something else. But like going back with uh, y- your YouTube journey, since you know there are a lot of YouTubers who have been, you know, one of their goal that goal in doing like a YouTube career is to reach one hundred thousand subscribers, and mm-hmm. that alone is like a huge milestone for someone's yeah. career. So uh, could you please uh, take us back to that moment? Like, how did you celebrate that? Um, achievement in your career well uh it was just i did a live video with my parents uh oh, wow. when i hit the 100k mm. and then i think that was like a memorable time um the reason why i actually also did like i continued doing the youtube and when i saw that it was growing really rapidly the reason why i worked hard was because i wanted to also prove something to my parents um I don't know if it's a if it's a if it's like a disease or like a, some type of a mental stuff, but uh, I always grew up thinking that I I am special and like I you know wanna be that one percent you know out of everybody else you know so uh, but but growing up my my dad was actually kind of against that and he tried to implement a lot of things that oh, yeah. um, I regret on and that i look back on uh, and and thinking that you know um like i just gotta be more 
normal in a way too, you know. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, it was a really good moment. Uh, I just it's it's strong, you know. I, I still remember what I was wearing, <laughs> and I remember what my dad was wearing, and uh, we also I I think we sang like this uh, some worship songs in the end, like some. Oh. Yeah, hill song or something. I forgot exactly, but we, we were singing some worship songs and uh, and then, yeah. But and then I got the I got the silver plaque. Yeah. And, wow. Um, and then I showed that to you know whoever came to my house and they were like, whoa. That's wow. I, I'm speechless. I'm to be speechless. honest, like you know, reaching one hundred thousand. Like, how how how? I don't I don't I don't know if like if I would compare myself to. You know, if ever I will be doing that career, like the YouTube stuff, I couldn't imagine myself hitting 100,000 subscribers. To be honest, because you know, Diva Jazz, like it's so, yeah. Diva. But, yeah, but so Diva is like right, right, yeah, right, yeah. Diva. Yeah. <laughs> Diva. <laughs> Diva. Good one, though. That. Yeah. yeah. We assume that it took a while to get like 100, 100. grand, yeah. but hearing that from you, that two months that's insane yeah it was something yeah. like it was really really quick really really quick yeah and i guess it's just right to like show it to your parents it's not it's not something easy in this yeah. you put a little effort on doing stuff but right now our next question this is really interesting because i'm really curious about this uh we're done with no not kind of done but still part uh you, about your story in YouTube. Now we're gonna go through your journey and discovering your love for like singing, songwriting, and producing. Uh, when did this passion for singing, songwriting, and produce producing songs started? Uh, it's hard. It's hard to really like say when I had the strongest passion. Like I don't remember um, when I confirmed it or anything, but. Uh, I actually picked up on music after um, me getting a free guitar from someone from my church. Uh, I'm 100% sure if that person didn't give me the guitar, like I'm pretty sure I wouldn't even have done it or I wouldn't have walked this path whatsoever. But um, yeah, it was just this free little like a broken classical guitar that I got from this church person before he left to um, Korea. and. My dad oh. would play, and uh, and then when I was like grade five or four or something, I I that's the first time I ever played guitar. Like, I didn't even know what music was before. You know, really, yeah. I didn't I didn't know. I didn't grow up like singing and stuff. It was just, um, yeah, and so yeah. Like now that you mentioned that, because I also play guitar. Like mm -hmm. a while back, now that you said I can do better than people who are singing, that well, that sucks. I, it just hit me right now. <laughs> yeah, like right. That's I can do like two things. This guy could do one. That's like insane and kind of unfair if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Just random like hit me right now. Like oh yeah, he, this dude's right. So. <laughs> But I can't say anything that like, it just like hit me right like he's right mm. that's crazy and it happened multiple times that sucks yeah it happened yeah. a lot so yeah so I guess lot. that's oh wait we can we could we want to know also that what's like the hardest part of being like a songwriter producer when like you were so, oh like, it's the be, being a songwriter it. producer for me personally, um, is is getting the consistent inspiration. It's like songwriter and producers. For some people who are out there or who are successful or who are working towards to be like successful, like who are really grinding in their stuff, they make, you know, like they make, they create things like on a daily basis like you know, two beats a day like four beats a day or like um writing for two songs a day like those kind of things like they would have a lot of content on a 
daily basis. Like they would just keep right, 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 work, work, work. But for me, like I don't want to feel like a working machine, you know? Because yeah, I do want to make money doing this, but I don't want to be at a point where I have to like be like such business minded into this. I want it to be、yeah. more like a heart thing, which is also so. There's a there's a dilemma. It's just, it's like that's also a such a stupid thought because if I want to be making money doing, you know, becoming a songwriter producer, like doing all of these things, I do have to have like the business heart. You know, if I want to, you know,、yeah. keep myself and feed myself doing these things.、Um, but my heart is telling me like. It's、uh, don't like, don't take it like a business business thing, you know, and 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 work on it more towards, you know, just to. It's like a healing source. Like just do it to inspire people and do it to give motivation to people on their daily lives.、Um, so yeah, like that's like a that's like the hard part for me. And another hard part is that you run out of ideas. Yeah, but going back with your with your answer, that when you said that the,、uh, the hardest part of do, of being a songwriter or doing music is just is to on how you finish it, deba.、Right? Yeah. And、uh, personally, I've known a lot of、um, singer songwriters that actually currently、uh, experiencing the same thing that、uh, you went. And I think you know、uh, in terms of. Writing songs, it's just that you just have to trust the process, and you know after after all, once you surpass that、um, phase when you were you know trying to find you know, the the right words, the the correct melody, you know everything's gonna be worth it once you release、sure. the song. Yeah, and、For、speaking、sure. of songs, speaking of songs, and we all know that you have put out a lot of originals in your YouTube channel. So uh, among uh, all these originals that you put out, what's that one song that you are most proud of? Well,、um, yeah, I know it's hard, but <laughs> I I'm obviously gonna choose、uh, this song called "Reason to Like."、Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I made it when I was in Korea,、oh. and、um, yeah, 2018. And I just did it. I just, I was like, I don't, I forgot what time it was, but like, <laughs> um, it was like 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. I just woke、oh. up all of a sudden.、Oh. I just made, I just did it. And um, yeah, the lyrics were all there. The chorus is there. It's like perfect. It's like a perfect song. And a lot of people really liked it. And I got a lot of compliments from that song. Oh wow! I would show it to you right now if you want. But it's like, oh sure. It's all a lie. There is no reason to like you and to love you. And our joy is not just you. It's actually you. Now we need you as well. It's all a lie. There is no reason to like you and to love you. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! What? It's insane. It's actually, so it's actually、oh、the first、god. time we heard that. We saw that while、yeah. doing this, like the planning the,、mm. yeah, the research and like somewhat stalking, but we never really clicked into it. And but to hear that. Right now, mind blowing. I I actually that is so didn't、good. play on the classical guitar in a while, so like I got mixed up. You know, I it's a different fret. You know, the spacing it's like compared to yeah、uh, yeah acoustic guitar. So, but yeah, I made a few mistakes, but hopefully I we haven't noticed it anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god! I didn't even warm up my voice, so sorry. My I can't、gosh. do that. I'm shook.、Sure. What、I'm、do you call that? I forgot. Plucking, is、mm-hmm. it? Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> so, like, I'm so speechless. It's been a while I've seen、oh, something、oh, like that. 
Thank years you so much. actually. I can't like mind blowing. Wait, did you, <laughs> even, you, you, you can understand? <laughs> I don't know what to the say. Uh, no, we can't. But there's some words that like oh we heard that before. Like, um, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. From like, it's it's a very song. simple song, I guess, in terms of the lyrics. You know, it's just. It's just like talking about an imaginary, like, cause I, yeah, during that time, you know, imaginary girlfriend. It's like, um, it's like, oh, um, there's no reason to like you or to love you. It's like, I like you the way who you are, you know, wow. or it's it's that kind of thing, you know. Yeah, but that's the cool part. It's you said it's simple, but for us, it's something. So <laughs> insane. <laughs> I <don't know> <laughs> Do I say it. that? Yeah. Yeah, it's my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, but thank yeah. you so much for playing it. Actually, yeah, no, no. Like I can't first... talk about the song that I'm really proud of without showing it to you guys. You know, so, <laughs> for all the listeners who are listening to yeah. Anya Mental Mo, thank you so much for uh, listening to my original song. Thank you. Yeah. Um, where are we? I'm so lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were like, <gasps> yeah, we, we were blown Karakoli. away. So the script uh, but anyways yeah going back with uh, the podcast uh, this question is uh, also re- related with your uh, singing uh, songwriting career mm-hmm. so um, five years from now where do you see yourself in this career I try to see myself five years from now you know when I was like 17 but I'm not that person right now so for me it's hard to dictate what um, I wish to see myself in five years because it's just so always unexpected outcome you know life can take me anywhere and it's all these little things all these little steps like you can you can you can walk on it unconsciously and it may take you to somewhere that you've never expected or you've never imagined yourself to be Uh, but my wish and hope is is that I, I see myself um obviously you know at least a million you know monthly listeners on spotify like oh yeah i'm saying like realistically yeah. you know like speaking if like by numbers you know by numbers from five years hopefully like there's there's like my artist name and then one mil monthly listeners and hopefully i'm making money you know like not in like a bad way not using like you know people in in a certain industry like agency stuff you know not making people work for my profit but for me just making purely my income you know just doing some of maybe advertisements yeah or um stream streaming income you know to make a sustainable living for myself maybe that's my wish and hope so we'll never know Maybe yeah, it's just not right. It's not the right time. So. Um, yeah, so yeah. we're moving on, like to the next question. It's now about you as like Korean in Canada. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you you told us earlier that you moved a lot, and so mm-hmm. that would mean that you're exposed to like different cultures mm-hmm. and other stuff like that. So how did you adopt to these like different environments? so frequently uh at first obviously it was i didn't i didn't really try to adapt to it um Uh at first i was alone most of the time when i came here uh i because i didn't know anything i didn't know any culture you know Uh, and i had the biggest barrier which is language so if you want to adapt to a certain you know to to this culture or, or something like that you you gotta obviously gotta get comfortable with their language and that i think that's like the biggest thing um which was uh beneficial for me i think learning english you know it it also helped me you know get to know um and talk to people in the philippines you know to to adapt to that too or know what 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 it's like there um but yeah uh in in canada there's a lot of people from different countries um like literally all around the world Japanese Chinese Jap- uh, Korean Filipino, Filipino. Um, yeah. Indian uh, uh, 
people from Europe, everywhere in Europe, Russians, like it's every, they're everywhere. So many people. It's literally <laughs> everywhere. So,、yeah. um, there are lots of you know diversity,、mm-hmm. and、um, but people who live here for like over like ten years, it, it kind of becomes this. <laughs> Own culture, you know. It's like a, yeah, it's like yeah. one culture from like hundreds of cultures. Cultures, you know. That, that it's that's what it's like here in Canada. Um, but uh, when I visit to like a country like Korea, when I did in 2018 and Philippines, I went there in 2019. Um, uh, 2019 November, and yeah, it was like for me to adapt to it. It's just. You just go to that place. You go, you, you go with the flow. You go with the flow, and then you just try to do stuff.、Let、you know, you like just talk to them, eat with them. Um, that's how I adapted. I just I liter I literally became a Filipino for like six months. You know, like I was living that kind of life. Oh, it's、wow. like I didn't. Yeah, I never stayed at a nice hotel. You know, it's like you. I like a lot of people. Um. Travel to places as visitors, visitors、yeah. you know,、yeah. like they're travelers. They're they're not like immersing themselves with the culture. They're not like eating with Filipino on it, like in their house, like like the real place. You know, like not like rich people, like where because yeah, that's it's not、stuff. like that. Most of it, you know,、yeah. most of the times you're gonna find like houses where you know you got like sometimes like. Mom, dad, like your grandma, like a lot of people living in that small, small area. Yeah. You know, so I I had to like sleep there. You know, like I I I was literally like a true Filipino for like six months,、Aww. and like that's the experience that I had, and that's how I guess I adapted to what it was like. Um, never having like that cold shower, like not, never having like the hot shower kind of thing. You know, it's like you use the bucket thing. You yeah, 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 yeah. Bucket and like. <laughs> And and like no no toilet papers. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. It's like no toilet papers in the mall. I should say. You know. That that was pretty shocking though. SM Mall. I went there and it didn't have the toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just have to wash your hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway,、yeah. it's like it. Anyway, it was like um few experiences that I had and 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 you know it's like and there were also lots of cultures like. That you find that are so cool and that you love, you know, if you if if you're in that kind of environment,、um, it's like everything comes with good and bad, right? And yeah. Yeah. and、um, it's just you you go and if if it's something bad, it's just you take it as an experience, you know. And if it's something good, you take it as memory. And 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 that's how I just adapted, you know, to to what was, you know, to my yeah different cultures here. And in the Philippines, yeah, yeah, and like now that you mentioned、uh, Philippines, when we were like creating the flow for this like episode,、mm-hmm. uh, we kind of stalked your accounts.、Mm-hmm. So、uh, we found out that you do like missionary trips, and one of them was here in the Philippines last 2019. Yeah, right.、Uh, could you please share to us how, how and when it started? And what's like the most fulfilling part of it, like doing these kinds of trips? Um, I just created this master plan just by myself, and like、oh. a few fan fan people of mine who contributed after. Um, but yeah, it was just me. Ultimately, reaching and going to the place in Cotabato. Wow.、Uh, oh.、Okay. And and um, meeting the people. Uh, who were who went through the earthquake? Donate them、oh, yeah. clothes and do concerts in the upper part of the Philippines. Raise money yeah, yeah. and donate to them.、Um, mm-hmm. That was my initial plan.、Mm-hmm. So that's what I did. I, I went to the Philippines. I paid for a ticket. It was like eight eight hundred dollars. I went with fifty、um, kilograms of. Clothing from my garage, and you know, I gathered all these clothes, put them in three bags. This two big, gigantic,、uh, black this traveling bag, and、mm-hmm. 
yeah and like this one vacuumized this bag it's like 50 kilograms of clothes i had um my belongings i had like two suitcases for myself and i had this guitar that i was bringing because i can't do anything i can't perform or anything without my guitar it's like heavy ass guitar i had so many things yeah Uh you know which (laughs) contributed to you know some bad experiences in the end but uh there was just a lot of (laughs) a lot of challenges that i was taking on with out thinking ahead you know which is what you need to do sometimes if you want to do something and you know take action on things that are impossible right but yeah. it's it's hard for, it's hard to get that confidence now but i during that time i thought i had nothing to lose you know and i i just did it and it was november uh 2019 i stayed in the upper part of manila for like a month or two um yeah it was like uh i went to i can't i can't remember these uh cities now i used to know everything it's like uh i, I went to binangonan i went to um oh, okay. binangonan. i went to Cavite. oh okay, uh yeah. quezon city yeah wow uh I went to so many places, like BGC. I went to a lot of places uh, up up here, yeah. um, and and I did like concerts in the mall or something. But my first my first concert was in Binangonan, oh, okay. uh, Binangonan Mall. I forgot which one it's called. I forgot it was like SM or something. I think I'm well, not maybe. sure. Yeah, it was this mall in Binangonan, SM. and then um, and yeah, like I, I and then I went to this middle part of philippines which was cbo they invited me to uh, perform there um which is where i got to meet you know some people like people in in php um rads and charles and uh and um yeah kyle from kyle adiza uh i also met jinho bay there that's where i met kuya jinho yeah and that's where i made connections and i made and i met jerry kim and like uh gun uh and i yeah and i just like was you know that's when i made the plan that was also like in the time you know like it matched Uh so that's why they they had me they flew me over and i joined them and that was experience that i had uh and i also went to um davao Oh, um, wow. that that's a very special part of my trip as well, I think, because in Davao, I actually got to uh, do this one time, one, uh, t- one day thing where I had my fans like 15 to 20 of the uh, 15, I think 15 of, of us. Um, we walked around the whole place, like whole place and about like the, the cathedral like the cathedral or whatever and mm-hmm. the, the church places and the city hall and stuff and we would find it was a whole day thing it was like from 7 8 a.m until like the next day 2 a.m or something oh, wow. but yeah we we walked around the whole place you know finding kids or like oh. Oh. or like street people and we gave them like hamburgers and like food and like um we played like we sang together and stuff uh and then uh while i was staying at davao i went to um i finally went to Cotabato. um yeah and and i went there and i did my did my stuff like i performed and I got to meet the people who got affected. Uh, but anyway, since uh, we got to know you better with your story, we will uh, cut short the, the interview first. Since we ha- in this podcast, we, we used to have like a fun game with our guests. And uh, with you, we, uh, we will be doing a... Actually, Jess will explain it. So, mm-hmm. Jess, go. Yes. Just, to end up, just to lighten up the mood. So. Yeah, it's, just, it's nothing like really serious. It's just like a fast talk game based on what we found out about you mm-hmm. so we have like 10 random questions 
and all you have to do is answer them as fast as you can yeah that's it that's, that's it. it that's it <laughs> okay <laughs> that's it so, so you yeah. have to be prepared <laughs> yeah, okay it's, all, it's like go. somehow based like from what you do so okay let's go it yeah. gets you thinking yeah let's go okay are you ready <laughs> wait if i don't know it do i say i don't know or what uh you can say we'll give you time to like mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm sure you have an answer for like these okay. things. These questions. Okay. Yeah. So the first one is a song you wish, a song you wish you produced. A song I wish I produced. Yeah. Yeah. Like any song, and like in a western or like here. TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Some. Yeah. That's like the gist of questions. Oh, like any song. Yeah. yeah any, any song. song. Like. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. Yesterday. <laughs> okay. Yesterday. By uh, Beatles. Three things you would bring to a deserted island. My guitar. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, my my guitar. Um. Another yes. guitar. <laughs> my family. Can oh. I do a package? Yeah. Okay, my family. Yeah, and a it's package, a package trip. <laughs> and and my and my and my best friends. Yeah. Oh. That includes my girlfriend. So, oh. like three of them, uh, three of three of my friends and six of my family. Like, they come package, you know. It's like family and, and friends, right? Yeah. yeah. Guitar, okay. family, friends. Okay. <laughs> uh, how about your favorite song right now and why? Go Easy Kid by I forgot who it was by. By Monica Martin. Um, it's because I find it quite like find it quite uh, relatable. And it mm. heals me in a way. Wow. Yeah. Next is you guys uh, should listen to it. Yeah. If yeah. You guys get a we will. We will. For yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next is someone you want to collaborate with. Someone who I want to collaborate Who's that with. that person? BTS. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Like no, this is your moment. This is my. <laughs> 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 Finally, I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> Next is what's the best menu in the Jollibee store? I love the freaking uh, spicy chicken. Oh yes, oh. <laughs> I love the mango pie thingy. Oh, yeah, the yeah. peach mango, and peach I love yeah, the, yeah. the 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 the. Those are actually my two favorites, honestly. Same. I, the other ones are just mediocre. Okay, yeah. so next is your favorite place to visit in the Philippines. Since what is visit, your, favorite, your place favorite place to visit here in the Philippines? If, or if you like come back, what's like gonna be like the first like two places, something like that? That's a really hard one. <laughs> Pick a struggle. Pick a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Shargao. Shargao. I haven't been there. I think I would go to BGC. Mm. Oh. Yeah, because I Good had day. this, I had this uh, katsu that Jinho, Kuya Jinho bought me this uh, cutlet place, this um, like the pork cutlet place. It was like curry like flavor, but it was like so good. It was like the ten, like it was so tender, and it was. Whoa. Yeah, I remember that place. Like I'm, I'm definitely going back there first of all, yeah. and um. It's so hard. <laughs> That's the game. That's, hard to choose. That's, the, That's the game. You have to choose. You gotta choose. That's the catch. Yeah, I think I think I will go to that that um that restaurant and uh I I wanna go back to Binangonan maybe because that's oh. where I first went there last year mm-hmm. or I mean in 2019. That's yeah. the first place I went there and the first concert that I had. So I wanna go there again. Yeah. If Next. I was to go back. Mm-hmm. Next is since you did a lot of reaction videos, right? So among all those reaction videos, what's your most favorite? Uh, the dancer one, I think. The, Wait, what the you see? UAAP maybe. Oh yes, oh. the trade dance. Yeah, Ooh. maybe that one. Yeah, I think that one honestly, because like. It was it was really fun doing it with Eric. It was it was a really good time. Yeah, he was a good friend of mine. 
UAAP is UAAP. back right now. Actually, it's back. Yeah. Another oh. season for children's will be happening this coming Saturday, I guess. Mm. Yeah. And I also like Mimi as drink your water. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> drink yeah. your water. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mimi as a legend. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I just I just like that. Like that, so that, was, that was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next is I think we already asked this a while ago, but uh, your favorite song that you released is yeah, yeah, the one you performed like, earlier, yeah, yeah, right? To like. Yeah. Next is your favorite guitar cover that you uploaded on your channel. Favorite guitar cover? Yeah. Yeah. Is um... it dynamite or <laughs> <laughs> guitar cover or guitar tutorial? Cover, cover, cover. Does it have to be guitar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or if you have another favorite that we don't know. I don't even. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I think I, I think I have one. Wait. I did one like three years ago. Uh, Stay with me, Tanya. Oh. oh. I love that one. Too. I did pretty good on. And for the last, is uh, describe what you're feeling right now through a song. Describe what I'm feeling right now? Yeah, yeah. through a song. Through a song. So, do I have to sing a song or what? No, you can just say the... The, the, the title. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, okay. okay. Um, yeah, Go Easy Kid. That's the song. Oh, Go Easy Kid. Yeah. I'll take note of that. I think. Yeah. Like, go so Easy I, Kid. Yeah. Go it's easy only kid. rock and roll. That's like the chorus. Oh. oh. Only rock and roll. Rock and roll. I'll have to listen to that. I feel it's a good Same. song. So I guess that's it for the fast yeah. talk. Yeah. Thank you for <laughs> being game and answering the questions as much. Yeah. As no. Can. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. And sadly, we're like down to the last set of questions we want to ask you. Mm -hmm. uh, are we expecting new songs or YouTube content or other projects in the future? Yes. Are there, oh, I please. will. I really want to put out new songs more videos and you know um other projects but i feel like i jinx it all the time i talk about it you know but um <laughs> i really want to and i i will you know yeah, i will put out new songs it's they're not even new like they're they're stuff i've been working on they're stuff that i've been storing for ages and i want to put them out and i want to you know also I have a hundred like seventy eight thousand people who are like subscribed, right? Like although when I post something, they're not gonna obviously like see it because I haven't been active for so long. Like it, like the mo notification thing, like won't really, like YouTube won't really recommend my video, like like statistic, like, yeah, statistically. Um, but uh, nonetheless, I will still put. My music, uh, my music stuff, or um, vlog stuff, or any other useful videos, because that's what I want to put out. You know, I want to put out music that's useful and that's feeding off, you know, good energy and like what people can take value from. You know, I, I don't, I don't just want to put out anything just to get a lot of views and subscribers, like that kind of thing. I want to put out good content that people will find and not waste time on you know but just to you know um find good meanings and maybe some advices that i could give or just you know or my perspective of things and yeah the opinion thing was actually like i i like doing you know like like for example like the jitler like or, you know who was it the bella porch incident that's what got me big you know like the like the oh. bella porch incident and you know, like those kind of things. I actually kind of like like doing those kind of things because I have like my mind, like I like to see from two sides, you know. So, um, yeah, if I could do those in the future, maybe I could do those too. But um, aside from that, other projects, I plan to do a music um program kind of thing 
not oh. maybe not a program but yeah there are two things that i that i was like thinking of one is me um inviting like filipino kids like or just like scouting like recruiting anyone who's in a uh, quite a tough situation but who loves music mm-hmm. and who are eager to learn music and play guitar you know like like kids though and like just find them and um go through like i don't know like three three weeks or a month like a vlog with them like record everything and buy them food and everything like and oh, like wow. just um and just like teach them guitar and help them express music uh help them yeah because you know you don't know who you don't know who will become the next just bieber <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true though so and i i and it's more than the fame and the money music was a very important factor uh of me and music helped me to to be who i am and to help me stay alive until now <laughs> you know <laughs> i don't know what i would do or where i would be without music so because it was so powerful and so much healing source for me i have that hope that i wish that um it could be for others as well so that's why i want to share that you know i don't want to keep it to myself i don't want to keep this thing to myself i want to share it to those to those kids or whoever is going through a tough situation and then and for, and for them to express that through music and for them to um potentially you know become successful from it so um yeah that's why i that's one of the projects and, and filming the whole process you know like all that kind of thing one of the project's ideas and the other one is like having like a survival um music program there in the philippines oh wow um, but i with that i also don't know exactly like how i'm gonna manage all that but i also have that in mind um mm-hmm. and, and yeah and that's yeah that's cool. it <laughs> <laughs> that's cool i really like though like the first one though that you yeah you're right you could never really tell maybe they're just like waiting for you and then yeah. they'll yeah. just pick up that passion and then yeah. just because of you they're gonna like start singing also so that's mm-hmm. really nice i really like like that and i'm sure there are like kids who are willing to like join yeah no like by kids i'm talking about like 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 eight you know ten yeah yeah it's a good age to like I'll, i'll have like trusted like adults you know like i i obviously can't handle everything everyone mm-hmm. so i'll have like trusted adults that i i can totally trust you know um and and have them help me you know and and yeah it's i think it's gonna be i think it's i think that's gonna be really something new i don't think anyone has really done that so yeah it's gonna be a cool thing and and it will be cool for to to broadcast that like on on like my youtube platform or somewhere and have people from all around the world watching and for them to sponsor maybe you know and and help help those people out you know who are going through maybe really tough situation maybe maybe there maybe i'll have like someone like from the devout one of the street kids you know maybe mm-hmm. who like who, who knows like who who will be a part of it but that person might find that experience very like a big part you know uh and memorable for for their life and which is what i want to do you know i want to you know create um big memories or like good memories for people uh because i know i can't be there for them like every day you know at least create something that they could remember for the rest of their lives and that's my that's my hope yeah yeah that's great i really like that but uh is there anything you would like to say to your supporters um i would yeah i would love to say uh that i i'm very sorry for uh not being like consistent or what so uh, compared to like other people and other artists who yeah who who are out there and just 
constantly giving and constantly like <laughs> giving stuff you guys could consume but uh i'm sorry i'm not like that <laughs> kind of artist um I'm just, and uh but yeah like i i'm real i'm really trying to i guess show my true self uh, most of the times you know everything you guys see on my instagram or whatever you know it's just it's just always me and um please know that uh i'm trying my best you know to become um to become someone you could look up to and someone you could think about and and yeah and someone you could be proud of um so please don't lose your hope in me and um yeah wherever life takes us i i hope we're uh, in the end we're happy we're at the happy meeting <laughs> and thank you so much for all of your uh, supports that big supports that you give you gave and you will provide uh in in in, in the future yeah great Yeah. That is so sweet. Salamat po. <laughs> salamat din. For sure. Maraming fans, salamat po. Yeah. For sure fans will be uh will be uh, hearing those sweet messages from you once the, this podcast uh goes out. Thank and you. uh what else do we need to? Oh yeah, uh, is there anything you would like to promote uh with regards to your social media accounts? Please do. Oh, something. it's just Juan Kim with two M's Instagram. Julie mm-hmm. TV, YouTube. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Make sure you catch his Instagram and YouTube. And yeah, I do yeah. lives sometimes on Instagram. Like, yeah. Oh, very, 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 very rare. Pop up, <laughs> pop up live. It's like pop up <laughs> live. So it's really those are the most stuff. valuable ones, though. You know, it's like pop up stores or like whatever. You know, they don't tell you. Like they just, they just do it. And then mm-hmm. if you're there, you're lucky. If you're not there, yeah. too bad for you. Yeah, so that's another <laughs> reason to like give a follow and like subscribe to your channel. Yeah. So to our listeners, you should do so. And yeah, we always do this. Like something we picked up like from our guests. It's like a small realization and stuff. And from what you said earlier, uh, this is like recent. Like, like remember Taylor Swift graduated like NYU and she said something like effortlessness is like uh, a myth so it kind of like fits what we talked about today if you really like want to do something you have to like exert effort it's there's like no such thing like it just comes like on or something but yeah you have to like work on it if you like want to get through youtube let's say you have to like make ways to like what would like what's the type of content people would like like and yeah it's based on like what's that youtube uh, recommendation so in the end of the at the end of the day yeah a little effort and hopefully <laughs> our decisions will take us to like a happy ending like what you said earlier so i hope in the future We're all happy. So that was my what I got today. Yay! Oh, congrats, Jazz. <laughs> yeah, yeah Let's end this podcast joke. Jazz and Lloyd, you guys are really good at English. Really? Yeah, oh which guys are really good. <laughs> <We're trying. laughs> yeah, I'd like to thank my dad. <laughs> Why? He's American. Oh. Yeah. So that. Yeah, you're really good, Jazz. You're really oh, good with thank English. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks to dad. <laughs> Thanks to dad. Thanks uh, well, to dad. Well, uh, with my re- with my realization uh, in this podcast, I guess I just have to go back with uh, the thing that you said earlier in terms of you know pursuing your passion, because you know a lot of um, people right now have been you know wanting the their success right away. They're they're not you know patient enough or yeah. to to wait for the right time. So yeah. Uh, just to be short with this realization i guess uh people should always bear in, in mind that the best things in life usually happens in the most unexpected way yes well that's it wow. yeah yeah i would agree Thanks, that 
<laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, and again, uh, Juwan, in behalf of like Pinoy Soul Radio, we would like to thank you for like accepting our invitation mm. to like guest on our podcast. Yeah, I actually got a lot of requests oh, from what? other places or like, oh. um, yeah, like even like uh, Mobile Legends and like all these people. Oh wow! Like even even like recently, they wanted me to like. But I didn't even reply to their emails, you know. But this wow. one, I just kind of felt like, you know, just felt like doing it, and um, and yeah, I'm 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 just here. But um, yeah, I'm I'm really glad I came. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Can can I just take this opportunity? Because you know, I was the one who messaged you via email. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but uh when i replied to your uh email when you said is it pst like uh, pacific standard time <laughs> yeah. i was so, I'm so sorry because i was so disoriented <laughs> like i replied to your email like 3 a.m uh, 3 a.m in the morning i just woke up so yeah yeah, yeah. i'm no so worries. sorry with that. <laughs> it was pretty funny <laughs> yeah i'm so sorry but yeah i no even problem. asked him is it like he really said lol like what time I'm is aware. it <laughs> <laughs> Oh no no no! That's that's how I talk though. It's like yeah, yeah, it's I wasn't okay. mad or anything. Okay, I, okay. I, I always do that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a pretty. He told us, and then I was like, "What are you doing at 3 a.m.?" Say, like, "Oh, it's my dog. I'm trying to like. <laughs> he has a new dog. He's trying to like put it uh, to sleep." And then I guess your email came through. Yeah, I'm not like, formal as 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 you guys think. I I don't put like, "Thank you," like Juwan. I don't like I don't like space it. You know, it's like it's just whatever get to the point <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a big mood so yeah and to our like dear listeners who are like tuned in with us today thank you very much guys i hope you enjoyed today's episode with juan kim yes thank you so much uh juan for uh, being our guest in this in today's um episode and you know with my famous line in this podcast as much as we want to extend this podcast our time is up yeah and that is it for this week's episode of Anyong Kwento Mo with you and Kim. Make sure to stay tuned with our last two guests actually. Yeah, Thank you sad. so much. Thank you so Pretty much for sad, Kwento but... Mo listeners. Kwento yeah. Mo listeners uh, please make sure to check out like the, the next two episodes yeah. um, and uh, the, the work work and effort that ja- uh, take a look and listen to the work that they're putting in oh, Jazz and Lloyd oh, and, so um, and, and yeah and then let's see where they move on forward. Mm. Yeah, crazy last two episodes and who knows who's the finale, right, Lloyd? Yeah. Oh, I'm not I'm not happy anymore. Oh, why? <laughs> joke long. Joke, joke uh, long. <laughs> well, yeah, so, cool. yeah. <laughs> uh yes and Yung yeah, Jazz, I am really excited for the last two episodes that we have here in our podcast. And to our Anyong Kwento listeners, make sure to catch uh, the other shows on our pin- on Pinoy Soul Radio like PS Per Request with DJ Samji that is live every Monday and Pinoy Soul Top 20 that is live every Friday. So make sure to vote for your favorite K-pop songs by following the format posted on our Twitter Twitter account. It's at Pinoy Soul. And also another shameless plug, please follow me on Instagram. <laughs> it's at Lloyd Bagos. Jazz, I know we, uh, we're going to say something, so please do so. Yeah, to our dear listeners, please download the mobile app. Please, like, I'm begging. I'm begging. (laughs) No, but we have a mobile app. So if you're like a Samsung user, this app's for you. But if you're like a fan of Apple, sorry guys, it's not in the Apple store yet. But yeah, and like our Facebook page and visit our website, both is pinoysoul.com to get the latest updates with our content. Mm-hmm. Also, replays of each episode will be available on our YouTube channel, Pinoy Soul, every Wednesday. So make sure to subscribe for you guys to get notified. And also, Lloyd did it. I'll do it as well. Uh, shameless plug. <laughs> follow me guys on Instagram at jazzk underscore d08. Yeah, yeah just yeah. do it. Well, I guess that's it for today. This has been Lloyd. And I'm Jazz, and you're listening to Anyong Kwento Mo, where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both Philippines and Korea. Tune in next week for another fun and exciting episode only here at Pinoy Soul Radio. Bye! Yeah, and... Bye! Anyong! Bye! Paalam! <laughs> Wait, no, is it? Yeah, it's right. Yeah, Paalam!
just listened to an Young Kwento Mo podcast with Lloyd and Jazz, where we talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Catch us again next time, only here on Pinoy Soul Radio.